Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Today's video is not too much about Corel Draw. As far as it is, it is this uh, outline drawing program that somebody's been out a couple of years, it looks like, by the videos, but one of my mentors and good friends just sent it to me today that he just found out about it. And what we've figured out is really for cutting foam out for like your toolbox. But, and I just started using it about 30 minutes ago, so there's a lot to learn. But I did do it. So it's a phone app. If you just go to your app store and type in Tool Kaiser and get that app, it's a free app. And pretty much it's a one, two, three step. You, you take a picture. It has to be, well, it doesn't have to be, but 11 and a half by, or 11 and a half by 11 by eight and a half inch paper. Because the app is going to, use the paper size to size your cutting. And just to let you know, I, I brought it in the Corel. It's a little bit rough, but, and I actually cleaned it up a little bit. And I just went out to the shop with my laser and cut it out of cardboard. And it's fits, it's really snug. Now, if it was in like foam for a tool chest, it would be really good and really snug and you wouldn't have to worry about anything. Um, you know, the, through the years, people have cut out foam for tools, for tool drawers. But I can see this as a tool to cut out a jig, even out of MDF, to lay a, a knife. Uh, not so much a pin, because a pin could be easily drawn, but a specialized knife to lay the knife in to, to engrave on a part of the knife. And I might even try to do a video. And I really shouldn't do, be doing the video this quick. But I just wanted to get it out there, and I am going to do some more research and looking at it. So you go through the app, and then it comes up with this. And there's my tool. Now there's a little bit of, you can take and uh, make it smoother. You know, there's a couple of edits. You know, I'm not going to go through it. But the main thing you need to do, you need to change it to inches, and then change it to 11 and a half or 11 by eight and a half, which is normal paper. And then you're gonna, I export it as a SVG. And there it is right there. And then I can just go to Corel. Now I'm gonna show you, it's kind of rough. I'm gonna import it as a, it labeled it as toolbox. And, and, and basically it, it gives you this. Now I cannot figure out yet how to get rid of the circle. The circle can move. And one thing I'm thinking about the circle, because this might be a toolbox item, that would be a place to put your finger to get the tool out. But I've watched some of their videos and I haven't quite figured it out yet. But anyway, we're gonna go back here and you're gonna need to go to object. And if you look, this square is 11 by eight and a half. Go to object, group, and ungroup it. Now, like I said, it's a little bit rough. And if you were making a jig, you could, you know, that would even work for a foam, but you could always go to your shape tool, your smoothing tool, if you have X sub or above, and just kind of click on it. Well, so I couldn't really edit it. So that's why I decided to make the video. I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool, fill that in. That created a new object. And then I'm going to left click, right click. And it's a hairline now. Now, on my original one, I took out that. Maybe that's a finger slot, but you could easily take it out. And then just get your smoothing tool and just barely touch it. You know, just give a little bit of touch to give you some roundness. And if you wanted to take, if you were, I'm even thinking if you were making a knife jig, that that would actually help you get the knives in and out. Anyway, I'm gonna leave a link to this. I'm gonna leave a link to the app and I'm gonna leave a link to one of their videos that kind of explains it. Because inside this app, which is pretty cool, and I'm, I'm sorry you can't really show that. I can show the, the um, this, you know, you could, you can, uh, nest things together, you know, if you had multiple tools, 
but I just haven't played with it enough. And so give it a try. And it's kind of, I mean, it's, it's a free app. Um, you know, I can't, I, sometimes I wonder is how people create stuff and then put it out there for free. See, you can take away the transparency of the, of the plier, you know, and you could add the labels and, you know, that way you could actually really maybe smooth it out because you can inside of export mode, there's actually a smoothing, um, somewhere there's an edit. Oh, you double click on the tool and you get into an edit mode and you could, uh, it, it even gives you a little help, um, what you can do with it. Like you're out there, you can smooth it out a little bit and it gives you more cuts, but it actually brings out some sort of the defection in the rubber or stuff. So I'd leave it just like that. And then you just exit out of that and, uh, whoop, made a mistake. But anyway, and then just save it as an SVG and you're on your way. And if I figure out more, I'll make another one. I just wanted to get it out there to let you know what's available. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.